Hey everyone. The topic of this video is who was Slidini? Let's see who was Slidini? Who was Alexander the Great? <laughs> who was Dave Brubeck? You know, I mean, who was Slidini? Well, people have asked me that many times throughout the years. Been doing magic now 48 years as a full time performer and um, a lot of lectures, over 600 actually, from all the different tours I did. Um, and they always ask me, what was he like? Well, I was very honored at one lesson in 1978. He was coming out with a new book, follow up book to his Magic of Slidini and more in 1976. And in 1978, he was putting together another book with Carl Fulvers, of course, as the, as the author, dynamite author, and, as, and Tannins, who, who were producing it. And he asked me, you know, I'm having some students and a few people I know write a few words, a few sentences. Would you like to include those for my book? And of course, I, I had only known Tony for, well, by the way, one thing I wanted to tell you about Tony. He said one time, when my first lesson, I said, to, should I call you Slightini? Because <laughs> many people just called him Slightini, that was it. So I was very nervous too. And I said, should I call you Slightini? And he said, well, that's a my name. <laughs> you call me anything you want. <laughs> that's what he said to me. So I said, uh, a few names came to mind, like genius. No, I'm okay. But I did uh, say, is it okay if I call you Tony? And he said, sure. That's a my name too. So <laughs> he was a cool guy. Uh, and I said, wow, what an honor to, to ask, ask me to do that. So I didn't know what I was going to do. I just said, sure, I'll, when do you need it? He said, next week, <laughs> you know, next time you come. I said, okay, I'll do my best. So I went home and I thought about it. And I said, I've only known this man for about five years. He sponsored me to go around the country and lecture his magic to all the magicians. I was just finishing up the second tour, actually. Um, 74 cities, I believe. And it was dynamite to be able to lecture this man's magic to all the magicians because Wow, talk about a learning experience for me. They say a teacher learns more than the student when he teaches, you know. So anyway, I thought about it. And I said, you know, the best way to approach this would be to talk about not so much my relationship with him because, it, like I said, it was only five years. But wouldn't it be cool to, to make a list of what Slidey is to all of his students and all the people that know him? Who was Slidini is really what he was, in my opinion. So when I finally wrote my article or little list, I made a list of seven different qualities and a little intro. One other thing I want to mention in this intro is that there was uh, there are two great magicians in the 20th century for slide, known for sleight of hand, creative sleight of hand in the art of magic, uh, and those were Dave Vernon and Tony Slidini. And the Slidini focused mostly on misdirection, timing, psychology. <clears throat> of course, they were both phenomenal at both and everything, obviously. To be a sleight of hand artist, you have to be a good sleight of hand artist. But Dave Vernon was a more of a taskmaster, a teacher. He was called the professor. So that's my forward, okay? When I wrote my article, I wrote it this way. This is the book it's called The Magical World of Slidini. It's copyright 1979, came two volumes. One was the text, and they had a, another book with photographs. It was really cool, just like the first set had been in 1976, The Magic of Slidini and more, with the same system. And there were 11 students, I'm one, that wrote letters. They were terrific, marvelous letters. I really enjoyed reading every one of them. And many of the people that wrote them I know very well or knew very well. But this is the, uh, the page that I wrote. And um, this is a little something I wrote after he passed away in 1991. Two days after I had found out he had passed away, I wrote that. I wrote on January 17th, 1991, about Slidini. I said, magic was his love, love was his magic. That's the only thing I could think of at that point. 
So let me just read what I wrote, if that's okay. I had the great fortune to start studying with the master in December of 1973 and have been asked to write several comments about my teacher, the great Slidini. Slidini is majestic simplicity. He possesses psychological genius. He possesses the ability to bring a student's hidden ability and value to the surface and to aid greatly in the development of that ability. He possesses warmth, kindness, and generosity of a rarely seen nature. He possesses extreme concern for people and carries as his motto, if you are happy, I am happy. So he used to say at the end of every lesson, by the way. Oh, one other thing, every lesson, and I used to study in the afternoon, every single lesson he had a white shirt and a tie on. He possesses the mind and ideas that have literally revolutionized entire branches of the magical arts. He possesses the mastery and knowledge of his art that is totally unique and refreshing. He possesses everyone with his magic. Slidini is the possessor. If you like this video, please click the button and uh, also subscribe if you'd like. And uh, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.